Hey, how's it going? Kind of dark in here. Sorry about that. We're getting ready. We're going to be watching a movie. And then we also got over here is a pizza in the oven. And uh, so we're going to have an in night here pretty quick. Uh, it is definitely getting chilly out in the evenings. And then there's fog in the morning. I got my generator running because we were gone all day. Uh, but check out that sunset. Pretty amazing. Uh, not much wind though, which is nice, so the boat's uh, just moving from uh, wakes, not from uh, the wind. And uh, we'll run the Jenny for about another hour. It usually takes about 40 minutes, so about another 40 minutes to charge up the batteries. They are at 93% state of charge. So we can top them off at 100, then we can run our anchor light at night. and. Uh, yeah, and we'll still have batteries tomorrow too. So, but we're gonna watch this movie. I should pause it. It's starting to get good, and uh, have some pizza. I'm gonna have Wanagi come in now. It's getting dark and colder out. But uh, hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then the little bell also. You'll be notified of future videos, uh, live feed things, stuff like that, or when we do special stuff. Uh, and then make sure you leave comments down below. Love to hear from you. Uh, and it's cool interacting with people who make comments on my channel. I appreciate all the comments and suggestions and uh, just uh, support. It's been amazing. So uh, anyways, that's it. Got the train going by out there too. You can see way on shore. I think you can see that train. You can probably hear it. Hold on. Yeah, nightly. A couple times. I don't even hear him anymore, pretty much. Hey, what's up, Buttercup? What are you doing? Yeah? You just hanging out? Yo, you ready to go in? We're having pizza tonight. Yeah, you want some pizza? Yeah. Anyways, I got a haircut, got a little shave down on the beard. Uh, nice lady I met in town here. She's cut my hair before and does a good job. It pampers me a little bit, which is nice. Uh, but that's it. The sun's going down. It's going to be a beautiful little sunset over there. Um, Managi's just kind of hanging on the deck like she usually does, but I'll get her to come in. The video's going to cut out, so have a good night. Also, we'll check you later. Thanks for checking out my videos. So, so yeah, it's a rainy day. Uh, we got a front coming in. Probably going to get 30 mile an hour gusts is what it's predicting. Uh, it'll be offshore though, so uh, we won't be getting pushed towards the shore, which is cool. But my uh, umbrella thing's starting to leak. But I moved anchor because I wanted to be closer in over here, so I wasn't out so far. Because, man, I was out. I was the farthest boat that way, over that way. And I was getting hit with swell all last night. So I'm tucked in here now. There's about three boats that left today. And the closest boat is that one right there. But she's uh, moored off. So she doesn't have any real swing or anything. And then uh, I think I'll be okay. Because that catamaran who takes up pretty much three quarters of the anchorage. Because he's a dick. Has so much scope out and doesn't care about other people. Got up such a whiner. But anyways, uh, so it's raining today. We got some early, we got out already. Oh, I put a little olive oil in here and uh, some fresh garlic, sliced it up and then throw potatoes in there, then a big long sweet pepper. And then I've got some jala sliced jala pickled jalapenos right there, some mixed cheese, and then I'll probably put it in a tortilla. Um, probably cut up an onion too and throw that in there but uh anyways that's what we got going on when Aggie and I went to shore twice today already she got a little wet so she just hunkered in and taking a nap she's gotten out twice so she's pretty happy and was out on deck for a little bit but it's wet and cold out and so she's good and snuggled in here in her bed and uh, I didn't I had some oatmeal this morning but I thought I'd get a little bit it's uh 320 so this is basically my lunch is what I'm making uh, we moved the anchor, like I said, so I always have to pull up the bedding to get below this blue matting because that's the chain locker up there with the black pipe coming down into that white part. 
that's the chain locker. So it's kind of arduous to do the, the anchor chain. Not really arduous. That's not the right thing to say. It's, um, it's a pain in my arse to anchor and re-anchor, anchor and re-anchor. But I've done it a lot. And even just because I anchor and then I drift and I'm too close to somebody else's boat. So I was here, or they were here first. So it's up to me to make sure that I'm anchored properly. Anyways, uh, that's what's going on. I'm just making breakfast because I want to get some breakfast. Um, and it's just going to get wetter and wetter. So we're cooking up and then we're going to slide this hat. There go a little further along. Yeah, that had those sweet peppers, some red onions. Ooh, look at that steam coming off of that sucker. And some sliced jalapenos. Sliced pickled jalapenos. Although, I think I would like to get me some real jalapenos to cut up and eat. Because they're really good for you. <coughs> Ooh, it's spicy in the air. It's in here. Ooh, those jalapenos heating stuff up. Yeah, it's raining out here in Bellingham. People still out kayaking, having a good time. Because they're Washingtonians. And Washingtonians don't mind the rain because they live in it probably seven months, eight months out of the year. At the least. Excuse my sniffles. Well, now, too, look, see? So you, it kind of seems far with this camera, by, but... Really, we're about a third of the way to the dock over there, which is how we walk up to the market and up into Fairhaven. And that's where we get our water. That's where we throw some trash out. Uh, and then we're really close to this dock over here through the glass. You can't really see it, but it's not far that way. Before, when we were out on the line out there, before we just moved this morning, uh, again, we moved our anchorage. We were on the farthest out point back over there. And it was hell when it blew in the morning or something. Even just for the couple of days we were there, trying to get Wanagi to shore or something. It was like, oh, I really don't want to go. But here it's easy. So even when it's raining, we can just bop right over there. It'll take us five minutes to get to the dock, if even that. Probably like three minutes. And then uh, can take her for a walk right over there. So cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and it's going to be wet and rainy for the next like six days. That's what they estimate. Till like Thursday. Thursday's like chance of rain. So pretty much. And then I think there's another front coming in right after that one. Uh, but I, by that time, um, that'll be almost the 1st of October. And that's when my contract starts for Friday Harbor, where I'm going to moor my boat. Uh, let me turn off this fan. Sorry about the fan. Whoa. I have my fans going in the cabin. Just they're up here and mounted back there so that I'm circulating the air so the mildew doesn't take hold or anything like that. But um, anyways, we are burning our breakfast, or our lunch. Not too bad. It's almost done. Anyways, let's go have teriyaki. Teriyaki. Teriyaki juices. So anyways, that's what we got going on. Hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then the little bell right next to it. It'll notify you of all my videos when I post them. We usually do videos come up every Friday uh, and through the winter, that's the plan. Uh, what else? Yeah, uh, leave comments down below. Love to hear from my subscribers, people who follow my channel. It's pretty cool to interact with you guys. So uh, that's what, I mean, I'm doing this to record for myself and just to do it. Uh, it seemed like a good idea uh, to track my adventures with my dog, Managi, and stuff. Um, and Because I like going back and watching the videos as much as uh, some people on my channel like watching my videos, too. <laughs> anyway, that's all. Okay. Slide this hatch closed for the day. Probably keep this open, though, and just I've got this nice kind of a 
curtain, but it's insulated thicker. It's kind of thicker, ins but it's an insulated thicker curtain. I kind of tuck it in the handle up here. Uh, what did we do? We did a small little project the other day as I had one of those, uh, I have one of those printer things, the label printers I got here. Pretty cool little thing. But I've been replacing all the labels bigger letters because that way I can read them. And anybody else who comes on the boat can see them. The other ones, the, 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 the type was so small. Here's one left. Look, look at the type. My little blurry eyes can't read that. I know it says bilge, but look at fridge. It's easy to see. Panel, I mean, from a distance, you can tell what they are. You don't have to go in close. Um, and if I go in close, my eyes are so blurry I can't see anyway. So, but it looks much nicer. They're newer. They need to be replaced. Um, we kind of got all our stuff from our bedding in here because when I flip the mattress back and I've got the fans on it so air is circulating up there because it's a constant battle for moisture in a boat, uh, battling the moisture. Woohoo! Look at that. Only lost one potato on the floor somewhere. Anyways. All right, well, that's what we got going on. I'm going to get back to my food. I got to chop some onions and... Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. So you can't really see, but hopefully you can hear. Not just the raindrops, but we're getting some good gusts. We've had a couple gusts in the high 20s. I don't know if we've had any 30s yet, but that's supposed to come this evening, I think. But uh, I'm not going to put the camera too far out there right now because it's raining pretty good. Big drops. But maybe we'll get a good gust here shortly. It's coming offshore right now, so it's actually not a bad thing since it's offshore because that way it's, yeah, you wouldn't want to be onshore with 30 mile an hour gusts. But that's usually what happens when it's out of the north or the west, either the north or the west. You want the south or the east. Uh, and you're safe. It keeps you in a good place. And I moved my boat up this morning, or this afternoon I moved it up. There's a good trip. Yeah. Not the biggest gust we've had yet. Pretty good little blow though. I'm really glad I moved my boat up because <laughs> I'd be in huge chop. Just another, you know, even on Ray's boat right now, it's rocking pretty hard. Uh, we're moving side to side, weaving around. I don't know that you can even tell, but I don't think there's enough light out. And I don't want to turn on my, my LED lights I installed. I should turn them on and let you check them out. Huh? Well, here, hold on. Yeah, I just wanted to share this a little better with the light. Maybe not. at least you can tell someone's talking to you. But I just, uh, we're getting some gusty winds, uh, as expected tonight. Uh, sounds like some rain, too. Um, yeah, video's still on. Sorry about the camera shake. Anyways, uh, some rain also with it. Uh, and as the night goes, it's still, it's about probably uh, almost 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and it's calling for midnight and early morning is when it's going to get really gusty. So up in the high 30s maybe, uh, hopefully not any more than that. Uh, right now it's probably 20s something. Good little dust. Not the strongest we've had yet. We've had one a, a little bit ago that was pretty good. Huh. Anyways. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I mean, I'm dry. The Nagi's dry and warm down there. And uh, just uh, our anchor's in good. We ended up, like I said, I moved the boat closer in so that I would have some wave protection. Even though it's coming off the shore, the wind, uh, we're not getting the waves out of the sound over here that wrap around. Like literally, if you're just about another 15 feet to my, uh, off my starboard side over here, 
um, you would be um, past that jetty point that the ferry comes in on and docks at, and so you'd be getting hit by the swell. I'm getting dripped on from this thing though, so I'm gonna close up shop. There's a good gust there. to be sustained in the higher 20s and then gusts in the higher 30s tonight is what they're we're saying on windy and then also on predict wind anyways all right well i'm tucking in it's getting drippy and we're gonna go to bed soon Much. I'm actually having making tacos. Gonna have tacos when it's like hurricane winds. No, it's not hurricane winds. But... Yay, it's okay. I know you're okay, you little scrapper. Okay, okay. Settle. Blowing like hell out. The boat's moving all over. The place just swinging in anchorage. So when Aggie and I are eating, that's what you do when you're on a boat and it's anchorage and you got 30 mile an hour gusts going on outside. You make food and you eat. Right, Wanagi? Yeah, there. That's what she's doing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make a big old burrito. A big old big blow burrito as we call it. Anyways, that's what we're up to. Peace out. Keep coming too late and turning the camera on when they think the big gust is hitting, but we always kiss the tail end of it. Maybe we'll get another big gust here in a second, but I just can't leave the camera running because the batteries don't last that long. So I got an eyelash in my eye, I think. Anyways, alright, I'm gonna pause it again. Hopefully we'll... there's the gust.